Everybody, welcome back to What Do You Got? I'm Andy Smith. I'm Tim Fulton. And this is a show where we bring a random topic to the table the other person doesn't know about. This top, this week's topic is Tim's. Tim, what is your topic? What do you have? So since last week you talked about street violence and hurting people, I figured we would talk about puppies. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. So I bring up this topic because my parents are getting a new puppy. I'm going with my mother uh, by the time this airs on Saturday to go pick her up from the airport. Pick up a pack we, of puppies from the We're picking up a pack of puppies from store. the store. Puppy mill. No, not puppy mill. Uh, not a puppy oh, mill. I, well, make, I'm going to make people mad now. Not a puppy mill. So I figured we would talk about our experiences with puppies and the do's and don'ts about raising a puppy because we obviously are certified in 100% animal care. And yeah, puppies. All right. So what Fucking kind of puppy puppies. are they getting? They're getting a golden retriever, which is the cheat of all the puppies. Yeah. So they I originally have, was going to have a... do anything with them as long as you're cool with them just being cool. They're cool with just being cool. So yeah. I originally was going to have a picture like with me, but I don't. So if I'm smart, person. there's going to be a picture here of the puppy that they're getting. <laughs> Everyone let me know in the comment section down below how I failed to actually upload said picture. What's the puppy's I, name? I forget. Oh, it's going to be like human. Crystal or Diamond or something along those lines. It has to be a gem? Uh, it's a gem. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's a gem. Well, like emerald. It might be sparkle. Emerald or what's that purple stuff that you inside the rock? Glitter? No. You crack open those rocks. Oh. <laughs> Something like that. Now right? I'm just thinking of a puppy named Geode. Geode. <laughs> a it's boy. A giant diamond. Come here, Geode, dude. Um. All right. So you want do's and don'ts for puppies? Yeah. All right. It's a cute puppy. You go first because my advice might be a little, a little extreme. First, you got to beat it to within an inch of its life. No. So, again, they're cheating because they're getting a golden retriever. Yeah. Golden retrievers, A, are super smart. B, all they want to do is make you happy. Yeah. That's all they care about. Those are the two things. We had, we've had we had multiple golden retrievers, my parents, and I think the one crapped in the house once, and they're like, you don't do this. That was it. Done. Yeah. it. Did, I think dogs like anything else, are they have all different kinds of Temperaments. There's, there's all different kinds. So some breeds have different tendencies. I know people don't like that because everyone's like, you know, like pit bulls aren't murderers and blah blah blah. Which yeah, it's okay. But it is about how you raise them too. Yes. Yeah. But those there's some dogs that just have a fucking little switch. And it might be nurture, nature, I don't know. But like We can agree that there's a healthy mix of both. Yeah. 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 So I will say puppies. One of the things that I have learned, and this probably goes with most animals, you have to introduce them to everything that they're going to have Yes. immediately. Clippers, nail trimmers. You don't have to use them right away. People, but like, other animals you're going to Other people, other animals, even my cats. This is getting away from topic a little bit, but my cats love people. Your cousin, your cousin's husband, who I, uh, John, I can name a name. Yeah. Uh, fed my cats last weekend they were like on top of him he was like they were my buddies yeah my cats saw a dog the one time and they're like i'm gonna fucking kill you oh i'm you're dead you are dead dog what kind of dog was it a big dog golden okay ironically. maybe maybe they'll be different with a puppy because they might not look at it as threatening although puppies are kind of chaotic they're chaotic but it might be so little that they don't yeah I'm very curious how they would do with other cats. Anyway, so yeah, like going back to the Clippers thing, like you don't have to even use it. You have to like be like, here's a Clipper. No, here's a treat because you were a good boy. Mm -hmm. Here's a Clipper up against your paw, not using it, but here's a treat. Maybe I'll just take a little sniff and you can do it over time. But you have to do all that like within the first like couple months with everything. Yeah. So they get used to like, I'm a good boy or girl if yeah. I behave while this sh crap is around. And there's also – like a very um it depends on what kind of dog you're like what kind of behavior you want your dog to have that too because there's certain things that you might not it's like um dogs think everything is free game when they're puppies and they don't know it's not free game unless you tell them it's not free game so like 
if you see your dog pick up a shoe when it's a puppy and you don't let him know that the shoes are not okay to pick up, he's it's going to be very hard to break that when he's older because he's going to assume shoes are toys. Yeah. Or like um, like uh, one of my buddies has a dog who his other – our other buddy um, – just to fuck with the guy whose dog it is, would take empty paper towel rolls and paper towel rolls and play with them when he wasn't looking. So now he'll just steal them. <laughs> so if he, there's paper towels somewhere, he'll just grab them and chew them up. Yeah, yeah. And you can't, like no matter what you do or how much you yell at the dog, like he's just like, this is a toy. Yeah. I've known this was a toy my entire life of four months. Like this is, on this the, is a toy now. Yeah, on the reverse spectrum of that, my parents, when they were when they were younger, we had so a cock. So I beat him. <laughs> We had Cocker Spaniels, and they heard this trick that when you're training a dog, use water and vinegar. Mm. They used it once, and it hurt the dog. And so they never did it again. Hurt the dog? What do you mean? Like, I guess for whatever reason, like, they spray the dog with the water-vinegar combo, and it hurts. Like, it's not just, like, spraying them with water. Like, it's painful. Like, you sprayed in their eyes, like, bear spray? I don't I don't know. I was literally three, so I'm telling this second so hand. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, because for the rest of the dog's life, she would see the water bottle and she would go fucking sprinting. Oh, yeah. That's but, like, you know, uh, it's like, oh, my dad used to hit me with a belt. You think back, you're like, well, he really only hit me with the belt like a couple times. But like just seeing the belt that was, was enough. enough. That was enough. Yeah. Yeah. So That's spray your thing. dogs in the eyes with vinegar. Continue. <laughs> yeah. There there are some dogs, though, that like don't like um, they, they test you. Yeah. And it again, it depends on the temperament of the dog. A lot of times the dog was was abused or came from a place where just something happened. It also depends on like we all met dogs that are super lazy and like, right. They just want to chill and all that yeah. stuff. And then you meet dogs that are like have too much energy, just too much energy. Right. I think where a lot of the issues is when you have the too much energy dog with a dog with like a disposition, because then it's like, I don't. Like, how I want to get my energy out is, like, things that aren't okay. Yeah. So, like, uh, my brother's old dog, you remember Bear? Yeah. He was a sweetheart of a dog if he liked you. But he would he would definitely push, push the boundary sometimes where you tell him not to do something. He was one of the most well-obedient, well-trained dogs we ever had. But we got him when he was three. So... You know, but he had a very aggressive temperament. And like every once in a while, we were like, you know, bear, drop it. And like he would, you know, growl and stuff like that, but he would eventually drop it. But sometimes he just wouldn't want to do it. Yeah. And he would look at you like, today's the day I take over. And you're like, (laughs) no, it's not. No, it's not. We're going to be here for a while, aren't we? And he's like, yeah, we are. So then you, you would just have to like go through the motions. And then as soon as he basically was like, all right, fine. He was fine for a while. Yeah. But every once in a while, he would. Like a teenage rebellious kid. Yeah, yeah. You know, trying to like, oh, maybe I can take dad. Maybe I can take him. Today's the day. Maybe I don't want to eat right now, dad. All right? Jeez. Give me my toys. <laughs> yeah. But again, like, the big, like, different sized breeds. Like, if a chihuahua bites you, like, they can rip your finger open. But you're not going to lose an arm. You know? But that's why dogs like golden retrievers are so cool because they never really like there's they're just they won't do that. What? I've had a lot of nutty animals. That's why my brain goes there. I just want to comment. I love you, buddy. I, I love you so much. I have a lot of problems. But I don't want to say you have a one track mind, but like I'm like, let's talk about puppies. And we're like, you're not getting away with it. We're nine minutes into the podcast. Yeah. And you're like, yes, yeah, some will rip your arm off. Some will only hurt a little bit. And you got to be prepared. I'll find a way to bring down any subject you bring. Up. <laughs> <laughs> always goes to violence. So another thing I want to bring up, we were talking about always introduce them to everything. I think that includes different types of people. Yeah. My buddy dog. And I've had a dog like this too. Babies. And it's hmm? babies is a big one. Yeah. Babies is a big one. My buddy's dog, though, super racist. That's a that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. I don't. And it's like you don't. You can't blame a dog. You can't be like, oh, you racist dog, because like, what if they've literally only ever seen a specific, yeah, culture or whatever. But we had my Asian they do friend. They see in only two colors. They yeah, but they did bring over my uh, 
or my Asian friend was over at the same time. I was at my buddy's house and I would get up and do stuff. And the dogs were super chill. And our Asian friend would get up and the one dog, just the one dog, but the one dog would go ape shit. Didn't attack. Didn't do anything like that, but it was noticeable. Yeah. It's, it's definitely awkward for your, whoever's dog that is. It was awkward for everybody. No, but it's, it, it does make sense uh, to a certain extent because dogs rely heavily on their senses. Yeah. So, like, if they see anything that's, like, outside the norm of, like, the patterns that they've seen and, like... That's all they got. Yeah. So, like, you know, if you're from a, a family of, like, people that are 5'5", five five, and all of a sudden, like, a six foot five guy comes in, the dog is going to be like, what the fuck is that? I've never seen that before. Why, are, why is this big thing here? Yeah. Or yeah. vice versa. If somebody, like, really short comes in who's an adult, not a, doesn't have the smell of a child... And it's just like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's this fucking guy trying to sneak in here, shoulder length? Like, what the fuck? Um, but I babies, take this one. <laughs> yeah, babies is a weird thing, and kids because the behavior. Babies, it's more so like you're just scared. Like, uh, there was a, they can, It doesn't matter the type of dog they can they can hurt a baby even unintentionally. Yeah, and I hate to say it, but there's been cases of dogs. Not going to name any specific breeds of dogs, but there's been cases of dogs where they just like they just snap. Yeah. And they're just like, I'm just going to eat this baby. Like, they're fine with the baby for months. And then they're just like, I'm done. Remember that the topic is puppies. Yeah. Well, human's a baby puppy. Human puppy. Um, no, but what I'm saying is if the dog never was introduced to babies as a puppy or kids as a puppy, they're very, they're very fucked up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. You know that this is coming. <laughs> I, what is surprising about it? It's not surprising. Nothing. I just want to talk about rolling around with puppies. You're like, they're going to eat your child. Do you understand? This is like... Your child is dead. It's so foreign. It's so foreign to talk about like sunshine and rainbows. So it's just, I got to bring a little clouds in. Going back to the uh, to the uh, uh, puppy aspect of this. Yeah. So my parents, their last golden, who died way too young. She was so good with... like. Again, it's a golden. It's like the cheat of a dog. They're a pretty dog, but they're smart, and they just have like this natural calm. Not they're family calm. dogs. They're a family dog. Yeah. She knew what children were to a point. Yeah. She would put a tennis ball into like a crib and like expect the literal baby who is like punching himself in the face to throw it. But like if a kid was to give her a treat, she would know to go slow, which is funny because you would give her a treat and she'd be like – she would like try to take your hand off yeah. to, to get it. So it's weird because some dogs – Was she around kids when she was a puppy? That's my point. She was a puppy when okay. this was happening. She, oh, okay. she passed away when she was like three or four. Oh, okay. And so she was around my nephew. I'm specifically talking about my parents' dog and my nephews. Yeah. So – Yeah, they, they did kind of grow up together, I would say. But I'm saying like – you. You're right. No, you're right. They, they, she was around kids from the get go. Yeah, she was. But there's a weird thing. Like, if you know that you're introducing a dog for the first time when it's an adult to a new species of people to them, where babies is a different species than a toddler is a different species than an adult. You don't always know what they're gonna do, which is why, like you said, it's very important to introduce them to them when they're puppies because a puppy, you know, you'll know if the dog is not comfortable around toddlers yeah. or you know, eight year olds, if the dog is like, uh, when it's a puppy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like with cats too. Like you don't want to introduce a 110 pound dog to a cat. If you don't know what, if you, if you're not sure of the reaction and just be like, go play. That happened to a uh, same dog, but my parents raised chickens. Right. And so they had chicks in the garage had, keyword had. And so my dad, he, he was doing the introduction thing. They were some, relatively smart about it so kimmy the dog came up and he was like i want to show you something she was a smart dog he's like let me show you and he held up a chick and she sniffed it for a little bit and he looked at her and she looked at the chick and she put the entire thing in her mouth and he was like no 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 spit it out spit it out and she did she did and she never touched a chicken again that was it she never touched a chicken ever again while your dad was looking that chick didn't survive poor little chick yeah but yeah, there's a. That's what I mean, though. Yeah, you, you don't. To, you you don't know what. Like, better to test it on a chick than a child, I guess. See what she's gonna do. Um, but it's funny, like when you bring up cats. That's where dogs and cats differ. 
if you, I don't give a shit. There's some weird cats out there that are different. You can yell at a cat all day to not kill chicks. It will not listen to you. Yeah. The second that you leave that cat alone in that room, those chicks are dead. Right? Yeah, yeah I agree. They, they, they're they different than dogs in that aspect by a long shot. Where dogs are like, okay, master says these are off limits. And cats are like, I don't give a fuck what you say. <laughs> fuck. Something in my head's telling me they got to they gotta go. They cats gotta look at go. us like you are failing. It needs to die. Yeah, like I just got to kill it. I just got to do it. What's the matter, Fido? Too much of a pussy to do it in front of dad? So this is a good part of the segment <laughs> to show the video of the puppies playing. We don't know which one of the puppies is ours, but here is the litter. I'll teach you to bring up something like this ever again. And we are back. <laughs> Hopefully I remember to edit that actual segment in. I, I do have a segment. With both of them. Yeah, there's two segments. I'm going to have to okay Google this. The end is just going to be a very small gravestone with that chicken's name on it. <laughs> We do have a little bit of like a dog graveyard in our house. We've gone Here through. Too. We have we've had a lot of dogs, a yeah. lot of dogs. How many dogs have we had? We've had because we've always had two to three at a time. Okay, okay. So we've had Sparky, Stormy, Sugar, Missy, Reba, uh, Callie. Why am I forgetting one's name? Kimmy? Oh my god, why am I forgetting Kimmy? her name? Callie and Kimmy? Annie. 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 Annie Sorry, o- Annie. Sorry that you're Annie Oakley and Calamity Jane. Pretty Annie, nice. Callie, uh, Kimmy, and Pebbles. Pebbles is still alive. So we've had nine dogs. This will make ten. Okay. But and we've only- always had a lot back to back. Yeah, same here. We always had two, usually. Yeah. Like the ones I remember Rommel, Sam. Rocky, Rudy, Bear Gracie. Okay. But when growing up, it was really just uh, Rommel, Sam, Rocky, Rudy. And Rocky died real young from cancer. But there were, we always usually had two, two dogs at the same time and like a bunch of other animals and shit like that. But uh, my, uh, my mom's dog didn't learn to leave the horses alone. Oh, oh, she had a learn. She was a she was a technically like still a puppy, I think, like a year. Sam, she was real fast, and she used to run and bite their tails. Oh, that's a mistake. And the one time she went underneath the horse and it trampled her, and she was fine. She had a big slice on her pad, but she didn't bite tail horses anymore. No, that'll do it. And she was tiny. She was like forty four pound Doberman. Oh, yeah. We only had Dobermans and Rottweilers. That's it, except for except to Gracie. You know why? Why? And maybe this will be a little insight. You remember the movie The Omen? No. The Omen was about... Uh, is that the one with Nicole Kidman? No. This is from the 70s. Okay, never mind. It's a it's a horror movie about uh, the uh, devil's child being in, incarnated into a kid. Okay. And basically, like, the whole movie is, like, this kid murdering people. Like, it's a dark movie. It's like The yeah. Exorcist. Yeah. But my dad saw it, and there's two Rottweilers, I think, that like rip someone to pieces in it. And he's like, I'm getting those because that it looks like they don't want anyone. He got the most like omen type of Rottweiler. In, Apple does not fall, in Rommel. fall far yeah. from the tree. It yeah. does not. It does not. No. So that's why we only had Rottweilers and Dobermans because he, he, liked, he liked those. Yeah. They're good dogs. They're just different from golden retrievers they're different from golden retriever yeah that's uh teach that's you to a... bring up puppies again on this show how dare you join us next week for kittens <laughs> <laughs> so one cute dog story our last puppy the uh kimmy hmm. who i'm still a little iffy on the name because they have a son named tim and they named oh. the dog kim anyway so <laughs> kimothy kimothy so she was so smart how smart was she they would my dad would open up he tested out the waters he didn't just do this but he would go get the paper with her every day and so the one day he opened up the door and he was like go get the paper and she did she ran all the way down to the street she got the paper she came back and she was fucking like ecstatic ecstatic. and i remember he would do it like he once that worked he was like that's it like she goes get she goes get the paper and at one time it wasn't there and she was like devastated. Like she, she knew what to do. 
Yeah. She was, she was like freaking out. And that's why dogs bite mailmen. <laughs> She's like this motherfucker. All right, guy. I don't even know what the question is. All right, guys. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think of puppies. Uh, let us know what you think my parents should name the dog. That's a good one. Ooh, what is a good name? Girl name. Has to be girl. Oh, girl name. Yeah. Oh, Bellatrix. I'm going to ask my mom after this because I know that they have a name picked out. I'm curious as to what it is. Kimmy. Two. Kimmy Two. <laughs> Revenge of the Kim. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you guys next time. Bimmy. You're listening to Bro Down Podcast all fucking day.